Hello and welcome to my map tour of Camsden Farms by Oxygen David. So let's start with a little bit about Camsden Farms. It says, Welcome to Camsden Farm. This place is based in Gloucestershire in the UK. It is a replica of a real life farm in the surrounding area. It has a real life PDA map, it has custom lighting with deeper blue sky and darker nights map is filled with animations it has birds flying across the map pedestrians and things like that it has custom textures with parallax mapping over 50 brand new HD models made by Oxygen David himself the map contains 36 fields with missions small medium and huge two placeable areas where you can build your own production or farm it has Five cell points, a BGA, a sawmill, and etc. Comes with seasons visuals that Oxygen David has built in, um, much like we've seen in older maps on FS19, only even deeper this time. So in the summer you'll see barbecues and mowers, washing lines get full, and things like that. In the autumn you'll see the leaves falling from the trees. In the winter the gardens will start to get snowmen, you'll see icicles form and much more. Uh, the map also has collectibles. It has UK license plates built into the map. It has its own custom grass textures and loads of custom sounds. And then at the bottom it says, I hope you like this map. Oxygen David, I think we're gonna love this map. So let's take a little look at the map itself. As you can see, we are situated pretty much in the middle of the map. Our farmhouse is here. And then over to what is our east to the left. We've got a sheep pasture, chicken pasture, horse barn, and a pig pasture. And then over to our east on the right, we've got a cow barn. We have Camson Farm Silo number two. And just behind that, we have a water tank. I think here is Camson. Nope. There we've got a trigger to remove the junk in the barns. We'll have a look at that as we get there. And above us, we've got a liquid fertilizer silo. We have Farm Workshop. We have Camson Farm Silo one. And you have the medium petrol tank. So much like as in real life, the farm isn't all on top of itself. You have plots and areas and it's oh, it's brilliant. I love it. I love it already. Um, so if we pick up the, the land, sorry, get gushy. You start by owning the periphery. You can't sell this. It's it's there obviously for, obviously for a reason, um, but you own that. It doesn't cost you anything. Um, this is what the the farm is built into as well. So here on field 15, you've got part of your farm is with that. This is your farmland here. Your farmhouse and the town is here. Then you've got these, which have your um, animal pastures on and your chickens are there. Don't own that one for some reason. I'll be buying that. Right. I won't buy that one there. Then elsewhere, you own field six, three, and two. And you also own this plot of land here, which is part of the periphery. And if we go back, it has some of our production and sale points on. So with those in the north, we've got our general store, sawmill. Over to the east, we have our vehicle shop and repair. Uh, farm store bale cell, farm store sale points. Southeast, you've got your biogas plant along with your debris crusher, the Cotswold store bale, and then Cotswold store sales cell points. And then down in the south, we have the animal dealer with the animal dealer appropriate cell points. So although it says five cell points, you've got five clusters of cell points. 
and then up here in the east, you have a lime station, and you have the garden centre cell point. So these are your five clusters of cell points, but offering you, you know, 15 cell points easily. So uh, competitive prices. So uh, let's go back and have a look at land prices. I think by the looks of it, field 13 may be largest to purchase. That's uh, 1.3 million, nearly 1.4. That's 1.1. 1.3 so yeah 1.3 million for your largest this one's not numbered but then the smaller fields which we're looking at is uh, I believe a lot of forestry area um, 200 grand for that but for a smaller field let's say field 10 uh, 230,000 so if you want to buy the whole of this Cotswolds farm area and have to put some work in which sounds like fun I'm already getting and you probably shouldn't keep comparing maps um, Marwell Manor vibes I loved Marwell Manor I loved that you had the farm in the middle and the goal of mine was always to own every every plot of land with never cheating beautiful map this gives me that vibe So let's go take in and have a little look around this beautiful map. I'll bring my map up, just so I don't get lost. I've not been and had a look yet. This is me going straight in, blind, and uh, having some fun. Now, I've been following the development of this map. This is way back when it was announced to be released for FS19, when Oxygen David first started working on it. I was uh, super excited then. Um, I fully understood the reasons for the delay in bringing it over to 22 with everything that we can do now. Just look how beautiful this is. <laughs> Just the detail in, this, in the brickwork. Look at that. Old stone wall. Now we're not going to walk around the whole map by foot. Someone potting around in the garden. Cotswoldy. Now, down here is our entrance to the uh, the animal area, as it were. Ground looks good. Very nice. So this is the junk that's in the. Uh, in the barn that you can sell, if you so wish, which is a good touch. I do like when uh, when we can get rid of that. I wonder if those are uh, active. They look like they might be. So yeah, you come down here, sell this, and you've gained that barn space. Right, shall we see how that works? Let's have a little look. I'll back up. And there you have it for the price of £398. Clear out the barn. You've got all this extra space for storage. So let's go and have a look at our pastures, which are just around this way. Lovely animations. So as we come in, around here, I believe this was the uh, chickens. And it takes uh, 100 chickens. Let's just let them roam free. By the looks of eggs spawn here. 
That feed over there. Let's try and catch that. Lovely job. Right, next up. Over here we have our horses. And it holds eight horses. And um, I'm guessing we already shut that gate. They're going to spawn in and roam around here. Let's just have a look to see where our triggers are. So we unload here. Seems the only trigger. It's very nicely done. Ah, no, perhaps our horses are in here. That would make more sense. We could at least bring them in here to uh, gallop them about, as I annoyingly say to my missus. This is the plot of land that I bought in the middle for training horses. And then up over here we have our pigs, if I remember rightly. Our pigs, 400 pigs. And their triggers are here in the middle. Feed and water. Now, I didn't see a trigger for the horses. Let's hop the fence. Unless I was just being a bit blind. It was just that one unload trigger. Then on the back here. Check to see if there was anything there. We have... Oh, keep running, keep running. Our water and feed trigger for what I am assuming is going to be our sheep when we get over here. There we are, 200 sheep. And they're going to roam around in there. Which brings us right back to the entrance that we walked down. So if I bring my map up again, just because I want to keep my bearings. So if we head up to Chedworth, where Chedworth on foot, up here is where part of the farm equipment was and storage. So as we go in, our liquid storage is there got your trigger so you can uh, order if you wish or you can come in and dump and refill yourself we have our equipment or some of the equipment anyway stored up here plenty of storage let's just have a look around look at those views let's get rid of that mate. map again look at that absolutely gorgeous Sweeping views. Ground texture, really nice. Now, I don't mind, because often I've, in the past, I've complained about a lot of clutter on, on maps. Especially the British maps. But here, it's nice, it's tidily, it's put away, it's to the side, it's not just sort of dumped everywhere and using up all the space. So here we have lovely big storage shed plenty of space in here now I don't believe they are actual refill points got ourselves some lights turn them off when not in use guys think about the planet Here we have our silo, 
our first bin. Another nice big uh, hay barn. Fuel refill and storage here. Beautiful. So much going on. So perhaps... Does this open? It does. I was thinking to myself, well, I wonder how we get in there from the other side. So you can get in from the road. Which is awesome. But then we also have, right in the middle of all that, the unload point for your silo. Undercover. That is so nice. Now, I thought this was going to be a classic Oxygen David barn. Just come in, look beautiful. I like that our unload is here as well. Back your trailer in. So good. Oh, we've got a working door as well. Look at that. And then on this side, we've got the entrance to yet more storage. And our workshop. Nice detail, well laid out. Come in, drive up, sort your things out. Store a vehicle or two here. Very nice indeed. Let me just shut up the other gate as we go past. So if I just bring my map up again. Try not to uh, run into the bushes. Okay, then we're going to head down. Because the other part of the farm isn't that far away. Looks like me from behind. Looks like me from the front. <laughs> it's official. Oxygen David's put me in his game. Does that work? I would have loved... Oh, oh, it does. Oh. I didn't expect that. Nice. Lovely little touch. Right. And then up here, as we look out across, beautiful lands, we have the second or third part of the farm, however you want to look at it. Got a decent sized clamp here. If I bring up the info, we'll see. It's a clamp. Fuel. Then our cow barn. 150 cows. Good size. Feed unload. Got our milk here. I wonder where that is. I'm going to jump this fence. It's flurry here. And they've got this big meadow. Now something that has surprised me... Um, Looking at a few maps lately. Now, is this a water refill? It hasn't got a trigger mark on it. It's how much people seem to be fitting into these 2x2 two two maps. They feel massive. I did a review for a map the other day, and that map felt huge, but the modder jumped in on the comments and was like, no, it's a 2x2. Two two. And this is one the same. That small little meadow looks big. So here we have uh, silo 2, so we can uh, unload here, do our business. This is our water refill. This will be our milk unload. Then round on this side we have more vehicle storage. Have a lovely barn with a mower in it. Nice, this. See me filling that up with bales or bags of seed. Again, a little bit of litter. Classic sofa mattress combo. 
<laughs> um, more equipment. Again, that, look at the birds. You can look at that, just fluttering around, not just spawning out of a field and disappearing. Let's see, flying across the sky. Again, beautiful views. It's all so beautiful. <laughs> it really is. So, over here, on this side as well, we have more storage. We've got our front loader parts in here. So now that we've seen the farm, let's have a closer look at the equipment we start with on New Farmer. So under medium tractors, you start with two John Deere 6230Rs and a Fent 714 Vario. We have the Class Torian 720 Harvester with respected header. We've got the JCB 54170 Agri Pro Telehandler. The Cramp Half Pipe Trailer. Uh, we've got the lovely Cockling All Rounder Flatline 600. I do like that. The Vedestad Rapid A800S for Cedar. The Dablu Power Roll 1230 HD. The Rollers. For a sprayer, we have the Birth Hound Vantage 4300. The mowers, we have the GMD 4411 that we see was uh, tucked up in that shed. Uh, for a baler, we have the VB3190. The inappropriate telehandler tools. Got to be excited there. And a trailer. and an AGCO 650 weight. So let's jump in one of these John Deere's, take a little look at the map. To start with, we'll head up north. Now, I'm not the best at outer cab driving, especially with my wheel, but we'll give it a go just so we can see the views. We look across. Absolutely gorgeous. So yeah, this has probably been one of the most anticipated maps that I can think of, probably. Um, well, within my FS community, um, that is very much a British community of the people that I uh, I talk to and interact with around FS. This is uh, something that we've all been looking forward to for a long time. And I'm sure this afternoon, this evening, of uh, Hampstead's release, the community will be going a little bit, bit crazy. So, I'll jump out here, and uh, we'll go have a little look at the general store. Daylight hours only. Ooh, nice. So, here we have... Please wear your face mask, thank you. Ooh. Yeah, I'll take that down soon. I think uh, them rules are all disappearing in a day or two. 
We have our first unload point here. And around here, we have another. Oh, and another one here. And if I bring the map up again, that was the general store. And then beyond us, is the sawmill. That has its own gate. It looks like everything's well marked, so hopefully I won't have to go in the map to find out what's what. Very nice sawmill. Very noisy sawmill. Uh, unload point here. Sell trigger there. Unload po oh purchase point here. Unload there. So if you wish to uh, buy the sawmill, you can. Could be interesting to see uh, vehicles coming in and out of here. Put up here with something on uh, too big. You may struggle. Have another little look across there. It's done then. So back in Johnny. Turn around. Looks like that goes all the way through. We'll try and take the road. And we'll head down and then we'll take a right. See what we have around there. As always, not every map is everyone's cup of tea, and I'm sure there are people out there that maybe haven't been looking forward to this map. But the fact that we've got another new map in FS22 has got to be exciting enough. So is this the road we are looking for? I believe it may be. So if we jump out, open up this gate. myself up a little and through we go. This runs across the top of the uh, animal pastures as you can see. Nice big field. It's even got the, uh, the wild grass through the middle of it. Brilliant. I do like those little touches. I've been known to add that sort of thing in my farms as I play uh, widening um, hedgerows and things like that as we do so then obviously we've got a, a fork here we'll take left, they lead the same way oh they don't lead the same way let's just open it up, let's have a little look around this is going to be a long a long video anyway. Well, I'm quite happy with lots of gates. I like that sort of thing as well. You know, gated fields is pretty much how they should be. About. actually reminds me a lot of when um, before we moved me and my partner would go out and uh, long walks through sort of the uh, the farmland that was owned by the uh, Eastern College where we, near where we used to live a lot like that just going through, wandering off through the trees and hop a fence hop a gate yeah it would have been easier to have gone right
So then as we come round, we'll look for our entrance. Whoa, bridge. Nice. Little bridge over the dike. And here we have our garden centre. Again, great detail. Cell point. Nice and simple. Chap's just taking it all in. Doing his thing. And uh, lime refill there. But we do own. Like I say, because all the sail points are added as part of the periphery that you own, that you can't sell. So, as and when little mod cell points turn up and things like that, you could add them in there. There is room to make this still your own. You know, as unique and individual as this map already is, there is room to do that and to make it yours. So, we'll head down this way. And I'm going to have to cut all the way around the edge back into... Uh, Camston Farm, Camston Village. Okay, and even the map edge. Great detail. Look at that. You see houses off in the distance. They look 3D. The tree line looks 3D out there. Oh, just... Well, we have a bit of road. Might get ourselves below the uh, tree line a little bit. In fact, just going to hop in cab for a bit. Because it's good to see what it looks like from in cab. I do a lot of in cab, so this is what I will see. It looks absolutely beautiful. I think the man's outdone himself. This is only the second map to arrive in FS22 through the mod hub. The bar has been set. And these are the small plots of land. But they're just small meadow parts. Little grass meadows that you can buy up. It's quite nice. You could buy them up and put another little uh, animal down there. Oh, the church. Now, I don't want to go around and reveal absolutely everything there is because people still want to find stuff for themselves. But we are going to go right here. Love that road. That was very good. Now, while we're under tree cover, I'm going to stay in cab. As soon, if the trees clear as we go down, we'll uh, maybe come out of cab a little bit. It's just that once I'm out of cab, I don't know if I'm under the canopy. It's difficult for me to see where I'm going. Sorry, but that's... That looks real. Not to be stupid or anything, but that looks real. If I was hossing along in the car and I just looked out the window and looked like that, that's what it would look like. Okay, so it's not that road. It's here on our left. We'll have a little look at the site. Look at that, there is a lot going on there. And this is the animal market. So let's get out and have a little butchers. Look what we have. 
here we have our animal purchase. So you can buy here, you can buy at your pen, uh, bring a trailer here, load up your trailer and deliver them to your pen. It will work out cheaper if that's how you wish to do it. So I just want to have a look around and take everything in. Big old parlour. Manure. So we have our different cell points for different things. I believe there were three cell points here. All sphere stores. So you've got the uh, animal purchase and then you've got a sale point there for the animal market. And all spheres also has two cell points itself. I don't think they're going to open, but I just wanted to check. Some of these might know. You never know. Nope. That's fine. That's fine. So, yeah. Two more cell points here. And nicely spread out. Like I say, if we have competitive prices as well, I think that's, uh, that's going to be good. So it's nice to have competitive prices at your sell points or competing. Uh, it stops you going back to the same spot all the time. Which is something that I'm finding I'm doing on um, Ubay Laron. Uh, because it only has two map sell points plus the train. And the train is... You know, I've got that extra grand. Puts me off using it. Plus, you know, the one time I did use it, <laughs> I had difficulties. I'm stupid. Right, so we want to go right here. Oh, we're not too far under canopy. We can uh, come out and have a little look. Now the map has all base game crops. Uh, it has the space to add um, the productions as you wish. It doesn't say whether or not... Um, there you go, there's a big, big bit of land there. Big bit of wasteland for you to do with what you like. Oh, that'll be the one that's not numbered then. That's why. So can we see another plot that's not numbered? Because that is big. Wow. So you could put all your productions on there and have one big massive industrial estate. In the middle of the Cotswolds. Why not? Or you could buy it, plough it up, and uh, have another big field. Entirely up to you. I think that plot was like 200,000, if I recall. We did click on it, so feel free to go back in the video and have a little look, pause it. So here, if I jump out, we have debris crusher and all sorts. Let's try and find our unload points. I think they're around the back. So yeah, debris crusher on this side. Uh, three cell points here. bit turn and room to get lost. Now if like I say if more customizable things turn up, you can put down more points if you wish. There is the room for that. Oh I was gonna try and jump that fence but we know that's not gonna happen. So let's go take a proper look at the BGA. Cotswold Stores, there you go, that's what that area is called. So we'll swing Big Green Johnny in. Yeah, 
it should do us fine. Here's your BGA. Now, by the looks of it, the BGA, the BGA, the BGA doesn't have clamps, but has enough space to place clamps, should you wish. So I guess if larger clamps come via the mod hub, you can get them in there rather than the base ones. Uh, we have fill point here. Reduction chains trigger there. Because you already own it, I think. Because it's uh, on the land at least. Yeah. It's already running. Unload for liquid. And then this is where you unload your digestate. A very nice BGA. Uh, we've got a little bit of storage over here. That's not game stuff, that's me going from using my clutch to move and my finger. So yeah, if you want to store some, I don't know, belts and things like that that people use, or a loader up here, or, you know, a telehandler wheel loader or something like that. There is space. There is a collectible here as well. Do you know what? I've not picked up a single collectible in this game yet. I haven't done it. Not going to start. Although there's loads up here. Perhaps I will. That's all pink stuff. Toys galore. Look at that. So those who want the collectibles, perhaps they're really easy to find. Like I say, I haven't, I haven't picked a single one up on any map yet. So we're going to go around. Around here. Now I could do the thing and ask if you guys want me to do a Let's Play series on this map and uh, believe you me, one will come. But I know that every big channel is going to be jumping on this map and by me getting on it I don't think that's going to help me much. I might come back to it a little bit later on because I've been waiting so long for this and I want to enjoy it. But I don't want to be playing it, feeling that pressure of this has to help my channel. I want this to be one that I'm going to play and I'm going to have fun on with. But I will, I will do uh, a series on here. By all means, by all means, guys, if you really do want me to do a series on here, and uh, you know you'd like to follow along, put it in the comments. If I get a good enough reaction, if there is something that tells me that people are going to tune in and watch me play it then I will because I do have something else in mind at the minute because I wasn't quite expecting this so soon I mean I've been following Oxy and all of his updates uh, when my Xbox when my Xbox when my uh, <laughs> PC broke and I had to send that off and he kept posting like daily updates of showing the progress with it and uh, I kept commenting and sending him messages like, don't do it yet, don't do it yet, my PC's broke. <laughs> that would have been cruel if this came out and I couldn't play it for another week. So we're now working our way back round through. This is what I like about... Ooh. Featherweight tractors. That's what I like about featherweight tractors, that they just get out of the way. <laughs> That's what I like about these maps with the back roads and the um, gates and everything like that. It all links together. It brings it all together. That's what I thoroughly enjoyed about Maypole while uh, driving around and looking at that and reviewing that the other day. Absolutely brilliant. And uh, Cavalier Roy got in touch and thanked me for uh, showcasing this map and for showcasing the fact that it has all these back roads that no one ever seems to take. So we're hitting the back roads for you as well, Oxy. Now we are going to go off to our right. 
for our last cluster of cell points. Now I am going to go back in cab so I can see where I'm going. Again, it just gives me that, that Marwell feel of the the realistic canopy of trees growing over the back lanes and over the roads. So that's exactly how it is here in the UK. And I think sometimes when you see complaints about maps that do this, are generally from abroad, from, from players that aren't here in the UK or in parts of Europe where this is how it is. This is real. So coming up on our left, we have our dealer. So let's have a little look. What we got here? We've got a recycling centre. Oh, I wish this was somehow functional in some way, shape or form. Oh, that is so cool. It's got a recycle centre. Let's run it back. <laughs> oh. That is... That's brilliant, that. A recycle centre. Anyway. <laughs> These little treats. Very so good. Right, let's go to the store. Stop getting excited by recycling. So we are here in our store, and it is um, repair sale point there. Purchase new things here. Um, let's see what we buy. We'll buy something and get it to load in. I have to be small. I've not got much money left. Purchase. What's cheap? Subsoiler. That'll do. Buy. I'd like to see where they spawn in and what way they face. So, you know, I was ex expecting it to spawn over there. So, it's spawning here. So you can park up and back on. And that'll work its way across and then I should imagine layer up again in front if you buy that much. That's the store. And then around here. It's old man me, that is. We have the last few of our sell points. Again, I'm going to jump into the map just to see what they are. And we have the farm store bales here. And at the back, they're just the bays for the different goods. Now, I'm assuming that one bay takes in your grains and your crops that you, that you grow that way, your traditional ones. And the other bay is probably going to take... Um, more production type goods and greenhouse goods. It's not so easy to tell in the way that it's presented in the menus anymore. Whereas you used to pick the sell point and you'd see everything that it sells. Now you pick the crop and you see everything, everywhere that it sells. Again, absolutely brilliant. I'm thoroughly in love. <laughs> Let's just make our way back to Big Green Johnny. And we'll take this back to the farm because I'm sure they will be missing it. It's not the sort of thing that goes uh, unnoticed. Big old tractor. So guys, if you've enjoyed this map tour, I hope you have. I've thoroughly enjoyed driving around it. This is 
honestly, the very first time that I've looked at it, I didn't go out pre-looking. That's why I couldn't think of where the name of anything was. So if you've enjoyed this, if you've enjoyed doing it this way, give the video a big fat thumbs up down below. If you are new to my channel, hit the subscribe button, turn your bell notification on, find out when new videos are going live. As always, leave your comments and feedback down there. If there's anything I'm missing off these map tools, let me know. If there's things you want me to put in, more information, something that I'm completely blind to, put it in the comments and I shall try and get it in and work these things in in future videos. And again, if you really want to see me do a Let's Play series on this map sooner rather than later, drop it down in the comments, let me know, and I will do my best to do that as well. You guys have yourselves a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your support. Bye-bye.